Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the biggest mistake I made when launching my Amazon FBA business. Not any specific product that went wrong, just overall, if I could start again right now, which many of you are just starting, you know, rewind four years, what would I be doing differently with what I know? So this is going to be quite the nugget of information of a video. <laughs> Whatever that means. But anyway, guys, let's just get right into it. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. Don't forget, it helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, let's just get after it. So long ago, I found this product. And it's been like just teasing me for years how well they've done their branding. And I've just watched this product grow in reviews, grow in everything. It's really cool. And you can see people are even trying to copy them now, it looks like, with the wood box. Uh, it's definitely not the same brand. Yeah. So that's not effective, right? You can't just copy someone. This originality, this this is what I my biggest mistake was, by the way. I'm getting ahead of myself. I sincerely wish that I had focused on branding in the beginning. Now, many of you are like already thinking about clicking off. Yeah, I know branding is important. But not in such a big way, right? Not with the Facebook page and the Instagram, like, you're overcomplicating it. Just this, the attention to detail, the packaging, the logo, everything about it. Because when you set up your brand in a way that all your main images are somewhat related to each other in an area, like this person for any seed starter kit pack, if we were to go to their page, Garden Republic here, grow something great. Now check it out. Look, we know that this brand, no matter where we go, if we see this packaging, we know it's this brand and we're going to buy it if we bought something from them before. And it makes sense. They, The whole thing makes sense. They built it around an area that's related to each other that didn't have a market cap that they would ever hit, right? You're never going to take up all of gardening, just these seed starter kits. You can keep going every time you go to a different plant. It's now a new market, but it's still related to the last one. It's just the whole thing is so well thought out. And if I had been working towards something like this from four years ago, um, I probably would have already hit my goal of that $10 million exit from an uh, Amazon brand. But I really just started focusing on branding in a big way probably a year ago when I started my latest brand. I used to do job products, which was just this generic thing that I did case studies on YouTube and I showed what I was selling. And it wasn't until literally, as embarrassing or not embarrassing as this is, like a year ago, out of four or five years of selling on Amazon, I really started thinking about long-term vision of brand. And even then, I've somehow found myself occasionally selling a, a general product because the numbers look so good. So even now, it's a hard habit to break. So if you can do this now, you're, you're just going to set yourself up for such immense success on Amazon that I don't necessarily even know how to get that through to you any clearer. Do you want to just have a general store that sells a pen, a lens cap, and a mug, and they all do okay, and you make a passive income from it? Or do you want to have a multi-million dollar Amazon brand, which grows past Amazon to your own website with coupons and email marketing? Eventually, eventually, this is could be at potentially years in the future. So don't think that it's that hard from the beginning. Just start, What? How, here's how we can make this practical is, when you are designing a product, we talked about this earlier this week, pick a market where you can see at least three products fitting there. Don't go so broad. In the beginning, don't worry about it. Like, don't find a product with a premeditated goal of it being in a specific area. Find a specific product just in any area and then start thinking, is this an area that I can potentially grow in? Now, something like this, Say I found people looking for indoor herb starter kit. Now that's obviously gonna be super saturated now, but maybe this is five years ago. And I find this and there's only a couple listings, they're all kind of crappy. Here's how you do this effectively. It starts with just one listing. Think of a really well thought out connective message of branding that ties the value proposition of the product to the logo and the brand name. That's the first step. They're called Garden Republic. They've kind of planted themselves, no pun intended, they've planted themselves in a specific area and there's really no way out of that. They can't now go and sell a grill. They can't now sell basketball equipment. Garden Republic. 
very specific. And then they went, here's what annoys me. Sometimes I hear videos, people are like, don't worry about packaging, just get started. Uh, I know what you mean by that. And I get like, you're just trying to get people to get started. Maybe you've heard that. But really start as if you're already have been doing this for years. Collect the information the right way and do it. You ever hear that saying, do it right the first time, you don't have to do it again. That still applies here. So I actually disagree. I would say, don't just start just to start. And I'm probably contradicting myself. You probably find videos of myself saying that exact advice, but we evolve over time, right? And it's, it's good to change your mind, admit when you might've been wrong before. That's growth, that's evolution. So when I look at business now, I think we'll slow down anything that you wanna get good at. Do it really well slow first. I'd rather have you spend six months on a project and everything's perfect than just starting and having like a crappy arbitrage listing from Alibaba. I would have totally disagreed with that statement a year, uh, even a year ago probably. Say so just get started. But now, no, just do it right the first time and you'll get faster over time. Now, I don't know if you can see, I have guitars behind me. I've been playing guitars for well over a decade since I was a little kid. When I learn something new that's challenging and I'm pushing myself to get better, do you think I try and do it as fast as possible the first time? No, I try and do it really slow first, painstakingly slow, to the point where I might feel like I'm not actually even making progress, just getting my fingers to do the motion. And that's what your first product should be, just doing the motions, but doing it all the right way. So focus on branding earlier. Think of a well thought out packaging, think of a brand name where the value proposition is tied to that brand name. It's about gardening. Garden Republic. Come up with this theme, this overall theme where all your products kind of fit into it. Well, even better than find a market with three options, find a market with 25 options. You've now kind of set yourself up for success, right? All you have to do is follow out this business plan. We don't hear a lot about business plans anymore. It's not really such, such a thing, really. It's more like stacks of like business props. But anyway, think about branding, execute on your goal, come up with a vision and then work backwards from it. Don't just start aimlessly taking action. Like I said, I probably would have disagreed with that before, but hopefully this is making sense to you. Think about it a little bit more. Slow down, do it the right way from the first time. You won't have to do it again. So with that being said, guys, thanks so much for sticking around to the end. That's all I have for you today. Um, be sure to like and subscribe down below. And if you want to figure out how to do it right the first time, not go through a year, two, three years the wrong way and then get serious. Um, I'd be happy to guide you. I do a live call every single week in Savage University along with the 170 private um, tutorials from A to Z. Little plug, <laughs> first link in the description. But yeah, I uh, look forward to talking to my students every week. So if you wanna become one of them, that's how you would do it. Other than that guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much, later.